What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to Seven Nights 2, man. You already know what's going down. It's finally happening. I finally made it happen. A little bit of buggage involved, but we got a boss guide out, man. So today we're talking all about the avalanche boss himself, the frost centaur, whatever the heck his actual name is. Uh, we took him down flawlessly and I think it's time to actually talk about him, man. I finally caught a run that only had one bug in it. So, you know, that's an improvement from what I've been experiencing. That's not everybody though. That's not slander or anything like that. But, you know, some of us, some of us are in a rough spot right now until this next patch rolls around, bro. But it ain't no big deal. We're still making it happen. We're still catching these dubs. So, we're going to talk about how I made this dub happen regardless of anything that went down, man. So, the most consistent way to run this is you got to keep the team in mind. As always, let's talk about the team that I used in this little Dunfrost fortress over here well this right here and this is the squad i was running bro and this is the squad i'm always gonna run this is such a nasty squad the only thing i would ever change out is maybe chang chen for anyone else because two dps it can be overkill especially late game when you have like one baller dps set maybe i'll switch this out for a ranger or something like this but this is the squad i was running pause it right here if you would so choose you ain't got to let's talk about it real quick man we got adele up front he's my tank now the reason he's here it goes without saying but maybe it doesn't he has the anti-frost uh, the anti-freeze passive, so he's gonna just keep those freezes from hitting regardless uh, all of that uh, He's gonna be very survivable as well makes the team take less damage It's a little irrelevant if you're not getting hit that much But if you get caught by something stray, I mean there's a lot of nonsense happening in this fight a lot of stuff that could catch you off guard You might catch a stray bullet man And if you do you're gonna be happy you have Adele on your team either way He's gonna face tank the entire beginning combo to begin with and I mean he's just gonna be a reliable as far as keeping himself alive to a decent degree not the tankiest man in the world but you know his passive you can't sleep on it man especially if you make a single mistake and it makes the beginning of this fight my tactic for the beginning of this fight is only possible with his passive so he's here man uh cheng chen you're gonna be running him late game anyways man just throw him on but cheng chen is in the house just you know she's a dps unit i just have her for damage as simple as that uh any damage dealer would do in this slot right here i could use a ranger i'm gonna switch to a ranger maybe juju uh maybe the honestly like i think juju is just the way to go as far as rangers go um you can get away with something like rachel rachel's not a bad pick at all you're gonna get her pretty early on 300k uh, combat power just free to go but, you know, I'm probably going Ranger for this one. Just kind of mix up. Oh, this is Seven Nights 2 is the only game that throws push notifications at me while I'm playing its game. Bro, chill. But either way. Either way. Uh, we got Juju in the house. Is probably who I'd run here instead. Um, you can get away with, you know, a lot of different stuff. The new Claire, she's pretty wild as well. Um, maybe the new Claire is the way to go. You know, those are, just throw a Ranger on there if you don't want Chang Chen or if you don't want a DPS unit in general. Um, that's pretty much what I would say there. Shane in the house. I mean, you need Shane. You don't have a choice. Uh, Shane is here to stay. Uh, she actually has the suppression skill on her, so why would you not use her, man? We are using the rare one. She is she's a crazy unit she's the pvp queen and in this dungeon in particular she's gonna carry you through she's gonna stop the boss's ultimate from going off ever if you time it correctly you're gonna get a lot of dps off in total with a squad at all now it's unfortunate that we had to only go two damage dealers with this one but i had to go with shay because i needed a healer i couldn't get away with no healer on this run just i especially with how i run the beginning combo and you're gonna see what i'm talking about we're gonna show the the actual fight itself uh, right now, but Shay had to be back here for the heals. She also gets people's ultimates up much quicker, so we're gonna get a lot more DPS out of these two ults. Adele's ult, I mean, it's cool and all, but it is what it is, man. I'm not, uh, I'm not big on his ult in general, or is it a she? I don't know, man. Y'all are always on my case when I mess things up. This is a pretty handsome person. That's all I'm gonna say on that subject, man. I, sometimes I get it wrong. It is what it is. Who was it that we got wrong that y'all were, like, real heated on earlier? That should, that was, that was something else, man. It was... Uh, it is what it, it's been carrying along, man, ever since Out2 World, right, Lazy? But either way, it, it is what it is, man. I don't see that. You know what I'm talking about? We're progressive around here, bro. And what am I talking about, bro? My pet was Valder. It is irrelevant. I never used him once in this run. Crit was the actual build that we used, the actual formation. We have it leveled up to level 5. We have more defense up front. We have more damage and crit rate uh, in the midline, and we have more attack speed for more ultimates out of shade. Our healer who's getting our ultimates up faster. Let's show this run. All right, guys, try and keep up. This is going to be fast paced for the beginning of this fight. So we're going to run Adele on manual. No group movement here, right to the side of the boss, right next to the hoof. Now he's going to cone attack sideways. Instantly, we're going to switch to Shay, and we're going to move out of the way sideways behind the boss so that we can quarter circle around and get him to dash right into this wall. This wall right here is the key. We're going to switch right back to the actual tank himself. Adele, we're gonna move out of the blast and we're gonna go back 
back onto manual play, let them whack away on him on manual and drop them off and let him take all of the heat and now we can calm down for a second. Run that back if you want to see how to run this beginning perfectly and get the most DPS out of it. I know that was a lot in a second, but that's the beauty of YouTube. You can even slow it down if you so choose, but we're going to get as much DPS off as we can. And once Cold Wind Blade is showing that it's available, we're going to move out of the way. Now we're going to let Shay actually use her teleport attack and we're going to cancel her attack before it kills the tower. What that did is guarantee we we're all grouped up so that the boss will dash attack and then he'll use his frozen blast right after we keep him in the rotation we want him and he will not use a different skill set as long as we do that we cancel the shea blast now that he's done everything and frost hell is activated we got the free damage off on frost hell now we're going to do our annoying back and forth and back and forth directly between his legs we can dodge every single attack he has by timing it like a rhythm game and going between his legs every time he's about to attack. He's going to get one attack off and we're going to do it. Now we're going to get the full use out of his actual charge up on his ultimate before we pop Shay's suppression skill. That's going to give us the most damage possible. And now we have all this time to rein in now that our ultimates are up because we got all the damage off. Now as he's coming up, I know how to time him coming up because Shay's ultimate is going to be down. The second she's done using her ultimate, I group everybody up and I get right back to in between the leg tactics because he's going to get up and he's going to attack instantly. Because I did that, we have Cold Front coming up again. So in order to deal with this, we're going to run straight back to his Essence Shards. You need to kill these, and you're going to notice I let myself group up again. That means he's going to charge again every single time. Now he's going to blast again every single time because we allowed ourselves to group up rather than letting Shay insta-kill it. We stay grouped, and we're going to keep him in. Now we're going to move out of this little uh, targeter right here. He's going back into his combo. He might go into Frozen Hell. He might go into another combo. He's going to do one or the other when that happens, but that is the only thing he will do. Now Tyrant's Footsteps is coming out we're gonna save our time and we're gonna use the full ultimate bar and we're gonna go ahead and rock this man out of here now this for this point on you can do the same thing rinse and repeat you can go ahead and just do exactly what you did before the second he comes up go ahead and start dodging his stuff i was so close to just killing him i was like okay it's time to just rush him down you know what i mean i could just shoot his stuff i mean he went ahead and just used his basic combo you know what i mean he hit us with the line attack he hit us with the cone but it didn't matter we cut a juke between the legs but oh well it was over all right, let me run a couple of scenarios by you just in case things don't go exactly as planned because maybe you don't play it as cleanly as I just did. If you mess up even a little bit in positioning, especially when you're taking on the crystals, you're going to see a different skill set. So what do you do if you mess up grouping up on a crystal itself? Because that's going to be a big one for a lot of people. If you mess up the group up and the timing on when he's going to use that dash, well, you're going to see him use his line attack first. He's going to do a giant line attack. What he used on us at the very end after he came out of his uh, last ultimate uh, it's very long distance. All you got to do, you're probably already pretty grouped up. Just keep moving to the side. He'll drop it. But the second he does, he has one more skill coming. It could be a dash. So keep moving to the side. It could also just be him coming up on you to do his circle AOE. If he does that, then you're free to go ahead and hit the crystal. If he goes to use his dash, make sure you dodge it first and then hit the next crystal. Simple as that. But either way, move towards that last crystal. Simple as that, man. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot else you can really mess up. Um, it's just, it pretty much comes down to, you know, tightening it up. It just, what you saw there is what you're going to be seeing every single time as long as you run the flow chart. Um, if you're running into a situation where it's that kind of thing where it's like, well, it doesn't work on these higher tiers, that's how you get the most damage off. That's how you dodge everything. I, uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you past that point other than maybe up your DPS if you're running into the rage timer. Um, up your survivability if you are running into the problem of just dying to, I don't know what you're dying to, but if you're dying to something, if you're dying to something, uh, regularly that is undodgeable, uh, you know, just go ahead and up your survivability. Like, like, up your defense and your HP out of your... Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. What are you getting hit by? Uh, if you're getting hit by something that I am unaware of, drop it in the comments down below. Because, honestly, uh, the only thing I can imagine is catching, like, a stray hit from the combo. Or maybe getting a surprise attack. Because when he does... He might do his circle AoE if you're not doing enough damage to him to get him into his uh, ultimate meter. And if that's the case, if he does another circle AoE around himself after, you know, a combination... Just move out of the way of the dash attack that he's going to do, and he's right back into just doing, you know, a combination. Uh, either way, there shouldn't be anything else you're really getting hit by in this guy. He's pretty easy to flawless as long as you're, you know, fast about it. He's one of those, like, stick to the fundamentals, and you're pretty much there, but that's that, man. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and click that like button, man. But you know me, only if you really liked it, and if you vibe with me, then subscribe with me. I got you covered on two videos a day on the best jams on the marketplace. Hands down, no debate. Uh, got uh, another crazy game drop in in the next, uh, what is it, like three days now? Something like that. When does December start? I don't know, man. 
But I can't wait to bring that one to you guys. So if you're still liking both the titles we have on the channel, Variety is coming back in full force. Although this game, obviously, if you guys are concerned because of the history of my channel, it is not going anywhere, bro. This is, ooh, chef's kiss on this one, man. This is, this is a baller title right here, man. No, uh, does it even have to be said no sponsorship? I don't know. I have a thousand subs. That is not sponsorship yet material. I don't know, man. No, nor do I think I'll ever do one until, you know, the pounds start rolling around. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.